Hey guys, Colonel Dracus here again. Another battle report for you. Um, Space Marines versus Eldar today uh, with the new codex. Uh, my buddy in Campus and I are going to try some things out. Just I took a variety of things, so let's go over what I took. Ta-da! Alright, so let's start off with uh, five sniper scouts, one with a heavy bolter. We've got five regular terminators. A combat squad with a missile launcher of tactical marines. The other tacticals are in the twin link uh, LAS cannon Razorback with the sergeant, and they've got a flamer. We've got a predator with uh, auto cannon and uh, heavy bolt, or not heavy bolter, LAS cannon sponsons. And then over here in reserve. We actually held a 10-man tactical squad with Flamer uh, in reserve. And a Landspeeder Typhoon is in reserve. This is just the rest of that combat squad that's in the Razorback. Two drop pods. We've got a Stern Guard squad with two Melta guns in pod. And then we've got my 200-point Chapter Master for fun. Uh, Artificer Armor. Thunder Hammer, Storm Shield, uh, Auxiliary Grenade Launcher uh, with five Honor Guard, all with Power Swords and, and Pistols, also in a Drop Pod, and that's 1,500 points. So let's go and, and check out what the Eldar have got over here. All right, Campos, what do we got? All right, I, uh, I'm trying out Eldran. I know it's controversial whether it's uh, two level or two Farseers or one Eldrad, but... Uh, I just converted one of my old edition lists, so I'm still going with sticking with Eldrad. Got Eldrad. I've got a four-man jet bike squad over here with a shirking cannon. Uh, over here, I've got five basic rangers. I have nine dire avengers with an X-Arch uh, power weapon and shimmer shield inside this wave serpent and with Eldrad. There with Eldrad. Uh -huh. All right. Both wave serpents are identical. I went with uh, twin bright, li uh, bright lances and hollow fields. I've got a six-man dire or a fire dragon squad with an X arch. No other abilities, just six with an X arch. Um, no I've, special equipment. No special equipment. Okay. No special abilities. Uh, I went with seven swooping hawks. Uh, for, forgive him. He uh, <laughs> he's proxying a swooping hawk. He's a swooping spider. That's right. So I got a seven-man swooping hawk squad with uh, an X arch upgrade and a sun rifle. I got two naked fire prisms and three scatter laser war walkers. That's all I got. Double scatter lasers. All right. What uh, psychic powers did Eldrad get? Oh, you know, I'm still new. This is, you know, I haven't played very many games. And I did not get, or I was really forcing myself to keep re rolling to try to get Doom and, and Fortune, and I didn't get it. What I got was uh, Guide, Executioner, Eldred Storm, and Mind War. What's Executioner doing? That's a new one, right? Uh, right. So it's a, it, you target a squad or a unit or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll read it as we play. <laughs> but uh, it, it does three automatic hits, uh, and they're Fleshbane. So they wound on twos, AP dash. If, if anyone dies, then it hits that unit again for two automatic hits. If somebody dies, it hits them for one. Uh, it, it sounds like it could be potentially good, but... Uh, it's more designed for weaker units. Okay. Whereas Mind War is more designed for hitting that one individual stronger guy. It sounds like Executioner's designed more for, and for that's, trying to get to And that's a focused guy. witch fire, right? Yes. Okay, good. So you get to actually pick out what model you want. If, if you roll well. Yeah. Let me oh. double check that. Okay. I've never that's, used it before. All right. Here's Campos lo looking at his book here. I'm so pretty. He is pretty. <laughs> Look at that. You can't deny that face. All right. And we're here in the uh, in the nerd cave watching Firefly. It is focused with fire. So it is focused with fire. Yes. All right, bud. So you have first turn. Yes. Or at least you did. Until you stole. I stole the initiative. So Space Marines are going first. Uh, we are playing Crusade. We've got four objectives. One there. One over here. And then one in the middle. And one in the ruin over there. And we're just counting that as a 5 plus. And then these ruined buildings there and there are a uh, 4 plus. So here's a quick overview of the field. Terrain and all. Setup. 
and we'll be back right, guys middle, middle of turn, of turn one. one is over so we went ahead and deep struck the vanguard or not the vanguard the stern guard over here and the melt is missed yay melt is two um but the storm bolter hit with its snapshots to the rangers and killed one so that's that's good news uh over here where everything else is we took a shot from the uh razorback to the warwalkers and hit penned he made his invul save gotta love that new five plus invul right yes i do all right and then the uh missile missed from the tactical squad the predator shot at the warwalkers as well got four hits three pens one glance and he saved two pens. So, gotta love that, that new invulnerable that save. Nice dice and uh, nice, you know, it's like that invulnerable save. So, but thanks to the open top, it did, one did blow up. Yes. And another one took a whole point. So, he's uh, about half strength there, I guess you could say. Down three whole points out of six, right? Yes. Um, the uh, Terminators... Moved up and ran. The snipers went ahead and shot at the rangers and couldn't connect with anything. So all of them missed. And that's it. So he's all castled up and I'm ready to be shot to pieces. Are you ready? Oh, I, I think I'm going to do well. All right. Let's 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 see what happens. On to all bottom right, of guys. Campos here. The, a lot of stuff happened. This thing fired. I don't know at what. The uh, fire dragons got out of this wave serpent ran uh, and along with the guardian jet bikes were able to kill the unit that jumped out of the drop pod this fire prism fired over here and was able to take out one of the uh, guys in cover the war walkers the dire avenger squad and i well, actually i think that's it oh okay yeah and the wave serpent uh, all fired and got rid of his Terminators, so they're gone. Um, all in all, it was a it was a really good turn of shooting. I was able to wipe out the whole squad over there and the Terminators over here and take out one of these guys over there. All right, that's the all end. All right, of turn guys, uh, middle of turn two. Let's start over here. We got one reserve in. We got the land speeder in. He shot the Warwalkers, and I made my nothing. Yeah, he made his invulnerable Dude, saves. He, Gotta love him. They were making invulnerable saves. They took a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, that weapon blew up on him, so he couldn't do anything. That was from something shooting at him. I think it was a wave serpent. Uh, then we came over here. The Razorback and the missile launcher ended up shooting at the Warwalkers. Blew one up. Took a whole point off the other. Yay. Warwalkers, Warwalkers are, are dead. Yeah. Um... The snipers went ahead, shot at Eldred's unit. The heavy bolter blast scattered off, didn't do anything. The sniper rounds went ahead, uh, rended twice. So he failed two uh, five plus invuls from the shimmer shield. Yep. And they're pinned. So that's pretty good. That's what happens when you roll boxcars. And then uh, the predator over here shot at the wave serpent. Got a, like two hits, got one pen, knocked the pen down to a glance, and then made his jinx save. So nothing happened to the wave serpent. And that's it. So I still have the uh, chapter master with honor guard in reserves and the 10 man tactical in reserves. So let's see what happens. Eldar turn. All right, two. guys, this is uh, the bottom of two. I put a lot of firepower from the swooping hawks who dropped in here they hit with their grenade pack fired and then battle focused behind this terrain uh into the unit that used to be there um there was a few other things that added into the firepower but it was mostly the uh, the swooping hawks that was able to remove that the vast majority of my army took pop shots either at the tank or the people in the terrain um, all the shooting though only resulted in one unit gone uh, the jet bikes flat out over here. Uh, this vehicle flatted out because I forgot about that vehicle over there, so I never even attempted to fire at it. Steve, say hi. All right. And that was my the bottom of turn two.
All right, end of turn three. We had the, uh, or end of middle of three. We had the other drop pod come in. And the attack marines are still out. But they came in, shot up and killed like no one. <laughs> he, his rangers went to ground for five plus cover uh, thanks to having stealth. And he rolled boxcars. So they didn't need to go to ground. Yay, rangers. So they're good. Um, the typhoon went ahead, shot at the... Uh, Wave Serpent there. Didn't do anything. The Razorback shot at the same one. Didn't do anything. The Predator went ahead and shot at that one. And glanced it. And he failed his test fine. Or failed his invulnerable save. Jink. Jink. Whatever. whatever. Jink. Cover save. And the Missile Launcher went ahead and shot a blast at the Dire Avengers and Eldrad. Hit five. Killed two, and he's going to make his leadership yeah, test. Yes, Five. Does. All right, so he makes his leadership, and that's it. So on to Eldar turn three. He's in pretty good position right now. Let's see what happens. I'm afraid of these fire dragons over here by my honor guard squad. All, All right, right, guys, this was the bottom of three. The jet bike's here. And this vehicle here attempted to do something there, but uh, either I didn't roll well enough or he made a cover save. Uh, the, vehicle, or the vehicle here got exploded from a twin-linked shot uh, from this vehicle here. So I used the lance thing. Now, the reason why he's twin-linked is I was able to guide using Eldrad squad during the beginning of the movement phase, and then they piled into this vehicle here. The swooping hawks... Um, <clears throat> Use their jet uh, jet packs to or jump packs to get on top of this area, fire into the infantry, not do any damage, but I managed to roll snake eyes on the dangerous terrain for the X Arch. So the only thing that was lost during that combat was my own X Arch. The Rangers attempted to snap fire, didn't do anything. The Wave Serpent or and the Fire Prism fired into the speeder. I got uh, one pen and immobilized him. The fire dragons battle focused at the beginning of their turn and then fired in order to move around all these all these items in order to avoid his cover saves. And out of six shots, I think I killed five or was it four? It was five. I killed five. Um, so I think we need a leadership there. Failed. Failed. Let's see how far you run. Six. All right. Other than that, uh, that was my turn. We're now on four where he's going to be guaranteed to get in his last reserves. All right, All right guys. End of uh, top of four. Reserves came in. They moved in six. Shot at the uh, Swooping Hawks. Didn't do anything. No, no. They did four wounds. I made four four-plus armor saves. Hence, nothing died. <laughs> so they didn't do anything. Sergeant armor save. Um, the missile here shot the Wave Serpent. Nothing. Twin Link Laz Cannon from the Razorback went ahead and shot at the uh, uh, Fire Prism. Blew it up. Hit one of the Swooping Hawks in the explosion, but he made a save. <laughs> the Tacticals over here, where Boss came out, shot and lit up the, uh, the bikes. Killed two, but they didn't run, unfortunately, because the edge is right <laughs> there. Uh, and then over here, we had the Land Speeder Typhoon. Go ahead and blast into the... Uh, the Rangers killed one. They went to ground. They did not run, but they are pinned. And then the Chapter Master went ahead, shot and charged into the uh, Fire Dragons. Killed one with shooting. He challenged me. I accepted. Killed his Exarch, and we're stuck in combat. So I'm safe from his shooting. Yeah, in retrospect, maybe I should not have challenged. That way he could have wiped a bunch of them. I probably would have failed, ran, and then I could actually shot him. So now, now I may be in trouble. I think so. Let's hope for the best. Hope for the worst for you. Yeah. All right. On to uh, Eldar 4. This is Colonel Dracus. He's faking that he's happy. You should see my turn. Let's talk about it. All right, here we go. <laughs> so I spent both my Guardian jet bikes, the wa or both wave serpents, including the energy shields, everything I had here, 
went into this uh, tactical squad, or what were these things? It was combat squad. Okay, the combat squatted tactical marines, they're all dead. That was a good, that was good for me. The, you notice there's no longer the uh, 10 man tactical squad over there also. They are gone. They failed a leadership test after losing some people from uh, the Falcons and this fire prism. The fire prism used the large blast that uh, was AP3. Yes, those are swooping hawks. Not sure what I said before. You said Falcon. Wow. It's a bird. Yeah, yeah. The Rangers had nothing to shoot at. This was the most amazing thing ever. My four fire dragons fi uh, attacked first, and he failed two saves. So he took three. Out of three. Two plus. So not only did I roll amazingly, but he rolled uh, he rolled two ones out of three. Uh, and then he killed two back, so I didn't even have to make a leadership turn or a leadership check. So they're locked in combat during his turn. It was an amazing. This whole game has been amazing dice. Uh, I did specifically ask Colonel Dracus to play a fluffy list because I'm still learning my Eldar. Then when you mix in his bad dice and his, uh, I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in reserves. It's been very much so a uh, a fun game for me. So I just wanted to say thanks. All right, that was uh, bottom Hi, of turn. Hi, Campos. Four. Why are you so happy? Dude, things are looking good. Things are looking good. All right, so let's let's go over what happened turn five. It is night fight now, so that, that might help some things out. Um, missiles went ahead and shot at the bikes here, killed one. They didn't run. The uh, twin link last cannon moved up on top of the objective to try and block him from grabbing it. Shot at the, uh, at the wave serpent, penetrated it because his uh, shield was down. And uh, he could only snap fire next turn. That failed my jink. That, four that four helps. Jink. Yep, four plus jink failed. Land speeder over here went ahead, shot at the uh, at the scouts, killed one. Uh, he went to ground again. The pod shot at him, killed one. Pretty good. Can't complain there. The chapter master finished off the last two fire dragons and consolidated over to the uh, fire prism. And that's it. So we're we're. Pretty bare bones here. Right now, let's see. Objective wise, I've got one. He's got none at this point. But it could all change. Eldar and their trickery being too fast. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's see what happens at bottom of five. All right, so here we are, the bottom of five. We've not rolled to see if the game ends yet. These swooping hawks. Moved over here, threw a grenade, and was able to destroy uh, the, the vehicle, wreck it. Everything that I had on the left side of the board fired at his HQ. I was trying to deny his uh, line breaker and gain a victory point from Slay the Warlord. Um, everything that hit, wounded, and then he made his 3 plus invulnerables. So, good job there. Everything that I had over here... Jo uh, jumped out, moved, whatever. Everything got over here. Um, they're both in range of scoring on the uh, the objective, and they all fired into the tactical squad. I killed everything but one guy, and he passed his uh, leadership. So while on camera, let's go ahead and roll to see if the game ends. Bum, bum, bum. The game continues. Love, love your dice, by the way. Yeah, table war. They uh, they gave me a. Uh, or, well, I bought an amazing display case slash trap case. Anyway, turn six. All right, so the uh, middle of six now. Let's go over what happened at the top. The missile launcher here. Shot a blast, scattered off. Laz cannon over here. Hit, but didn't wound. Right? Or you made right. your jink or something. Anyway, he's not dead. The bike is alive. I think he rolled a one. He rolled a one. Yo, that's right. Stupid ones. Ah, and then uh, Drop Pod went ahead, shot at this, the Ranger, didn't kill him. And then the sneaky trick I had up my sleeve just didn't work out. We had the Chapter Master drop his big blast orbital bombardment right over Strength here. Strength 10, AP1. Strength 10, Ordnance Barrage, AP1. <laughs> Scattered off. Hit nothing. I could have wiped out everything and won the game. But no, it was not meant to be, Mr. Campos. You've had a lot of bad dice. All right. So that's it for uh, top of six on the bottom. And let's see if the Eldar could finally kill that awesome chapter master over there. What do you think? I'm going to try. All right. You got a chance. 
All right, All right guys, uh, bottom of six. Um, and as you can see, his HQ is still alive. Like a boss. Uh, okay, so my fire prism, my wave serpent fired everything they had into him, and either I, yeah, and he just he, he, yeah, he's still alive. Okay, uh, the the ranger, he ran, and he's now claiming this objective, but uh, we'll see what happens there. All right, this vehicle still alive. However, this squad, mostly because of Eldrad's mind, no, completely because of Eldrad's mind war, uh, killed the last guy. We already rolled. We it is going to the bitter end. We another turn. All right, end of Space Marines. This is what turn seven, right? All right. So the Razorback finally went ahead and killed the bike. That's awesome because he would have jumped over here and claimed another objective, <laughs> so that helped. And then my uh, commander went ahead. Actually, the drop pod shot the uh, shot the ranger. Hit, wound, hit twice, wound once, and he made his five plus cover save because he went to ground. The uh, champion or the chapter master went ahead, shot him in the face with the grenade launcher, and he died. Finally. Finally. So moral victory there. And that's it for Space Marines turn 7. On to Eldar. The battle is over. Colonel Dracus was not tabled. He, uh, that's right. His vehicle was destroyed. He's got two drop pods that are alive. Sadly, his HQ did not survive. He survived everything but the last Bright Lance. He failed his 3 plus invulnerable save. Thought hard, thought long. This chapter would be proud. Well, thank you for letting me experiment with my new Eldar. Thank you for bringing more of a fluffier, non competitive list. Um, that's Still, all. Fun game, bud. Absolutely. Can't complain at all.